Hello and welcome, it's Bill Skladowski and it's time for another episode of What's New Wednesday? iPhone tips and tricks, things to make your uh, iPhone and iPad life just that much more easy and fun and efficient and all those things. So welcome in. If you're watching us live on Facebook, I appreciate you. Feel free to share this with friends or colleagues who may need some help uh, with uh, this stuff as well. And of course, if you're watching later on on the blog or a replay or on YouTube or whatever, uh, feel free to drop a comment as well. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube now, we've got enough uh, videos on there to make it a real live channel with uh, iPhone Friday and What's New Wednesday playlists. So feel free to subscribe to the channel so you uh, get, you know, if you're more of a YouTube person than a Facebook person, it's all good. But that way you'll be notified whenever a new video is released and we release a new one every Wednesday and every Friday. So today... Uh, I thought we would talk a little bit about uh, ringtones and text tones and how to set them and even how to use them for, um, how to set them for individual people. Uh, and the reason I thought of this, I was in the grocery store the other day. Yes, I was shopping, had my mask on, social distance, don't freak out. Um, but somebody's phone went off, somebody obviously with an iPhone, and like three of us all reached, you know, for our pockets to see if it was our phone ringing because we all had the same ringtone, apparently, right? So I thought, hmm, maybe I should change my ringtone to something a little more unique or something like that. So that's the genesis of today's uh, lesson for us. So we're going to talk about how to set uh, different ringtones and text tones on your phone. You can do it globally, which means for everybody. And if there's a certain special somebody in your life that you want to know that they're calling you or texting you, we're going to show you how to do that too. And we're going to do it all in the next few minutes because it's easy and simple. So with that in mind, <clears throat> let's uh, jump over to the phone. And uh, again, this all starts in settings. Now, like I said, the global settings that affect everybody are under settings, settings under settings. But then if you want to do something for an individual, we'll get to that as well in just a moment. But let's start with settings. So up there uh, with our usual friend, the old silver gear for settings there, and we're digging in. Now, for some reason, my picture is back on settings. And this is something that has honestly been a little bit of something that's kind of a scratch that needs to be itched. Why some days do I come in and my picture is not there next to my name under settings, and some days it is. I'm not doing anything different. I have no idea what's going on. But anyway, there's my picture. So anyway, you will either have your picture or just a you know little gray on white kind of a silhouette sort of a thing. But what we're looking for today is not too far down. It's the red sound and haptics uh, listing right there. Now, if you've if you don't know what haptics means, I've talked about this a few times. It's the uh, the phone actually has a little gizmo in it. That's a technical term that it vibrates when something happens. So if the phone's in your pocket and you have the ringer turned off, you can still feel it ringing or texting or whatever. And also when you text or excuse me, when you touch the phone to do something, very often it will make just a little feedback, kind of a feeling, a tick that will let you know that, yes, indeed, you're doing something there. And if you turn things on and off with the little switches, the little gray and white slide switches up there that turn green, very often they will make that just a little pulse to let you know that, yes, we've done what you wanted us to do. But for now, let's scroll down a little bit, okay? And here are the sounds and vibration patterns that apply to everyone, the global settings, right? So. If you haven't changed it yet, you can have a lot of fun with this. The ringtones and the text tones, there are dozens and dozens and dozens of them, and you can download and install more if you'd like. But let's just start with some of the basics. If I tap on ringtone, okay, and I think you'll hear this. I don't hear it when my phone's plugged in, but I think you'll hear it on the video, okay? These are all the ringtones that are available to you, okay? And there are probably two or three dozen of them there, right? And you can just play them. You can just tap on them and they will play and give you a little example of what they are. <laughs> you could just go crazy with them and some of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of them are like fancy and loud and some of them are a little more soft and gentle. So I don't think that one would get my attention if I, if I didn't. 
And then when you get to the bottom of the list, by the way, oh, all right, all right, all right, stop that. And there's another one. When you get to the bottom of the list, by the way, there is a, another list that says classic. See that all the way at the bottom there where it says waves and then classic. So these are even more, these aren't really tones as much as they are sound effects. Kind of a different thing, right? So bark, bell tower. See what I mean? Um, and then now I did like, there's the old phone. I used that one for a long time, old phone. It's an old phone, I get it. Or piano, it's bad news. You'd better not pick up the phone. <laughs> I could have done that for a while, that was funny. And then all kinds of them here, all right? But again, not really musical bits as much as they are sound effects. There you go. Interesting that they have a dog bark, but not a cat meow. Hmm. Uh, you cat people will have to call Apple and see what's going on with that. All right, so those are ring tones. And when I set one here, whatever it may be, all right, if I set that one, all right, that's going to be the global one. So whenever anybody calls me, that's what I'm going to hear. Now, same thing down at the bottom here, where you scroll down even farther to alert tones, okay? Now, this is for text messages. When a new text message arrives, all right, you can have just one little fancy kind of a sound. <laughs> I enjoy playing with those. All right, but same thing. There's the alert tones here, and then there are, at the very bottom, look down at the bottom of the list, the classic alert tones, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A choo-choo. For you train fans out there, I guess, okay? No cat or dog on this one, so sorry. But again, you have basically all of the... I better change that, or I'm just going to... Thank you. Or I'm going to miss out on that one for sure. So you have basically all of the ringtones and text tones that apply globally here on this one page. Okay, so pick what you want, and then you'll see it listed there where it says ringtone and text tone. All right, those are the ones that are going to apply for everything all the time. Now, there's a whole bunch of other settings, so feel free to go crazy with those. When you get a new uh, mail message, for example, all right, it takes you right back to the same list of tones and sound effects that we had before. It really, everybody uses the same list of tones and sound effects, but you can set them like when you send a mail, when you receive a mail, when a calendar alert pops up, when a reminder pops up, you know, all kinds of things, right? And then last but not least, at the very top, I scrolled up to the top of the list, is the vibrate on ring, which I have it turned off because my phone rings and I hear it, but if you, you know, don't, or you would prefer it to, you know, in the old days, we would say when you're sitting in the office at a meeting, who does that anymore, right? But there may be a time you can turn that on where it would not only ring with the sound, but it would also make a vibration and you could feel it if it was in your pocket and you had the sound turned all the way down. So up to you, all right? And then you can also, if you have it on silent, so if you've told Siri, for example, to hold my calls and it's not going to ring, it will still vibrate and let you know that somebody's trying to get in touch with you. So that's up to you, okay? Now, how about that volume slider down beneath, okay? So it has two functions. Number one is you can set, and you can see as I turn it up and down, I don't know if you can hear the fact that it's going up and down, right? To play different, a uh, different level of volume. That will change the ringer and the text tone volume again globally all the time when you're using it, okay? I just leave it in the middle, that's fine. Now, if beneath it is a switch that says change with buttons, so if I turn that on, it says the volume of the ringer and the alerts can be adjusted using the volume buttons. Oh, okay. So if I'm somewhere where I want the phone to ring loudly because there's a lot of background noise, I can turn it up or I can turn it down, okay? Uh, you know, same thing. But if I leave that off, I can still make it louder or, or not so loud, but I have to come in here to do it with this master kind of slider on this, okay? So you can do it again individually as need be or for all, all at once. Okay, cool. Let's move ahead and talk a little bit about um, doing it for individual people, shall we? And this is fun and cool and interesting. If you go into your contacts, okay, 
Just open up any contact. <laughs> I happen to have a restaurant there. It doesn't matter. You can open any contact. There's there. I got hundreds of them, right? Let's open up the steakhouse. What the heck? If I open up that contact, whenever that, <laughs> I don't know why the restaurant would be calling me. I don't understand. It can be anybody. Okay. Let's just get that cleared up right away. Any contact you have in your contact list, you can adjust the ringtone and the text tone to an individualized sound, okay? And the way you do that is you open up the contact, whoever it may be, right? And then you tap on edit up there in the upper right corner. And then when you scroll down there, right underneath the email is ringtone and text tone. Look at that. And I can tap on that, all right? And scroll down and there's all our tones again, just like we had a minute ago with the global stuff. Not only ringtones, but alert tones and everything else. And I can do that both. So, all right, let's change one. Let's go down and we'll make this constellation. And then I tap on done. Make sure you change it by tapping on done up at the top. And same for the text tone. I can go down to pick a pickle. Let's go popcorn. Popcorn. Oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, I'm not hearing it. Okay. I don't know what's up with that. Let's try a different one. Ringtones, text tones. Not making the noise. Let's try again, shall we? I'm going to tap on one and I'm going to say circles. Well, there it is. I'm assuming that when the restaurant text, oh, maybe the restaurant can't text me. Oh, I might have learned something there. Anyway, pick the ringtone, pick the text tone that you want. And then when you're done, don't forget to tap on done up in the very top. Well, anyway, that's what you would do. You would just go into the individual contact edit that contact by tapping on the edit button and then just picking out whatever ringtone or text tone you want. And that way when that person and that person only either calls you or texts you, it will use the tone that you have selected for it. And you know, if you have somebody, you know, like when your lawyer calls, maybe you want to have a significantly or properly, you know, dramatic tone to it or something like that. Or, you know, when a friend calls, maybe you want something very different. So there you go. Have fun with that. All right. Well, that's going to do it for today. Quick thing on uh, text tones and uh, ringtones. If uh, all this has sounded cool to you and you'd like to learn more, well, I will invite you over to our website at billskladowski.com where you can get on our little mailing list. Like I said, only one email a week. It's no big deal. Usually on the weekend, on Sunday evening, I send out an email that has the listing of the two videos that came from the week before and also any handout that might have been from the week before as well, okay? Every week on iPhone Friday, we have a bigger, longer lesson. Lesson, is that the right word? We have a bigger, longer demonstration of something, and I always put together a little PDF, a little report, on how to do exactly what it is that I showed on the video. And all you gotta do is come over to the website. The address is right there at the bottom, BillSklodowski.com. You tap on the big Click Me button there, and it will take you over to the sign up where you just put in your email, and I'll send it to you for free every week. No big deal. All right. That's going to do it for this week. Thanks again for joining. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here on Facebook, YouTube, the blog, wherever. I read and respond to all of them personally. If you have suggestions for a future video, feel free to drop that as well. And uh, we've already done that with a couple of folks that have uh, offered suggestions. So thanks again. We'll see you Friday for iPhone Friday. Have a great week. Take care. Bye-bye.